In this video, I'll be showing you how you can submit Google Forms multiple times with predefined answers by importing CSV file. First, you have to make sure that you have installed Borang Chrome extension. And then you have to go to your Google Forms. And then in your Google Form, you have to click on the import list. So this import list feature is only for Premium Plus users. So you have to subscribe for it. So first, what you have to do is you have to download the CSV file and then you can open it using any software that you have. In my case, I have LibreOffice. You can use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets for this. So in this CSV file, you will have the ID for the question and also the question itself. So let me show you the example of what you have to do. So this is the CSV file that I have filled in with predefined answers. So you have to fill in every single cells with the answer that you want based on the question. So for example, if it is a multiple choice question like this, you have to fill in the exact same value, whether it's male or female, capital letter or small letter is important here. So now let's try to import the updated CSV file by clicking on this choose file. And then we choose the one that uh, I fill in, which is this one. And as you can see, we have six rows here. And then we can click close. Once it is imported, the import list button will turn green. And then you can fill in the rest of the forms. In this case, for email, let's say I want to randomize it. For gender, since I already imported it, I want to choose list of. You can randomize it, but you cannot randomize and use the imported list at the same time. In this case, I want to use the imported list values. For this one, for checkboxes you cannot import lists at least for now you can only randomize it for this one let's uh, import a list for this one so let's import the list but for question like this the one that required right you have to fill in something first or google form will alert you because the answer is empty make sure you click on this and for grid let's just randomize it because we cannot import list into grid so let's click next so when you go to the next page you notice that the button turn black again you have to re-import the csv file by clicking this and also choose file okay that's the behavior for now. You have to re-import the CSV file every single page that you want the predefined answers to be used. For this, scale me please, let's use the list. Rate me please, let's use the list. And then click next. And then we re-import again. Click close. It turns green. And since checkboxes, you cannot import from the list. I will randomize this or maybe I will choose only two of them and randomize. And then for this one, again, you have to fill in, fill it with something and click list off. Sorry, click list on. Then for drop down, also you have to choose one of the answers and then click list on and then if we go here the responses we have zero response and once i click submit and if you notice we only have like six rows right excluding the header but what if we submit 10 of them when I click OK, 10 out of 10. When you go to responses, we have 10 of them. 
and okay for this question any thought about Goku for example we have only one answer for mid and nah because in this CSV it only has like six rows and it will repeat the answers answer number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's why in our Google Forms we have these two answers the value is only one the count only one but the other it has they have to count so i hope this video will help you on understanding how importing csv files work in borang thank you